Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. A lot of you have been asking me how I edit my pictures for my Instagram and vlog, and I'm gonna go in Lightroom today and show you guys how I edit my pictures. Use my presets as an example to show you how I edit my pictures and how you can make simple tweaks to take those dark pictures or overexposed pictures and change the presets so it makes your photo look great. Sometimes the presets aren't always a one-click wonder. These simple tweaks will let you know how easy it is to change these presets for your own pictures. So if you're interested, let's get started. This example, this is an unedited picture of me in Paris, and I'm gonna apply one of my New York City presets because it's made for cities. So when I hover over each one, I can see a preview on the top left side over here. Um, by just a quick glance, I'm liking Iron Lady, One Way looks good, actually Salted, okay, so they all look great. <laughs> um, but let's go with Salted Pretzel. And as you can see, there really isn't a lot of editing that needs to be done with this photo. Um, if anything, I might just lower my highlights just a little bit so I can get more sky detail. But if that was anything, it's pretty easy, one click, ready to go. Um, not all pictures are that simple. So let's take this interior picture for example. Interior pictures are a little bit harder to edit because most presets are made with outdoor lighting in mind. So an in indoor pic, the lighting is not natural and it turns out when you hover over these, they look really, really orange. But that doesn't mean you can't use the preset for the picture. So. Let's say I'm gonna use Skyscraper. It looks really orange. I probably wouldn't post that on Instagram. To fix this, all you have to do is go to temperature and lower it down just a little bit. And okay, that looks better. Not really liking this preset though for this picture. Let's try another one, Iron Lady. Okay, a little bit more softer and I can still raise the temperature down just a little bit and that looks pretty good for a one-click edit. I could probably um, raise the exposure just a little bit to make it brighter, but there you go. That's how you can kind of tweak indoor pictures. Another indoor example is this one from the Metropolitan Art Museum. When you hover over it, it looks crazy orange. This is a better example. So don't be afraid when your interior pictures have this crazy orange overlay. It's all it has to do with the lighting. So. I can still use these presets. All I have to do is lower the temperature um, just a little bit so it doesn't look so crazy. So I'm just lowering it until it looks mm, a little bit more natural. That looks pretty good. And you can still see that it has an edited look to it. Let's apply some Italy presets to this one. So by hovering, you can see the differences. I'm kind of liking Ciao Vespa for this one. So if I apply it, it looks pretty good. Not much editing needing to be done. Um, if I had to edit it a little bit more, maybe we can just raise the shadows a little bit, but I'm kind of liking them down. Um, so yeah, I think that's ready to go before and after. Let's go to a picture that needs some serious editing. Let's take this picture, for example. It's very overexposed. So any of my presets will look crazy bright on this picture. But let's just pick Chow Vespa, for example. To tweak overexposed pictures, all you have to do is raise or lower your exposure just a little bit. So I'm lowering it. It looks pretty good, but it still looks really blue. So I'm going to actually raise this temperature. So the OK, so that looks so much better. Um, you can kind of see way more detail. I would also crop this a lot so for instagram crop you're going to go to a 4.5 4 times 5 and that looks like a better crop for instagram and that's ready to go i have one preset that's made for sunsets it's in my italy pack called buona nota and if i click on it it creates this really pretty pink sky um, for this example though it looks a little bit too orange so let me just lower my temperature just a little bit and that is ready to go. Look at the before and after. It looks so great. It's Pagia Grande and Positano. So let's apply Buona Nota. And that's kind of the one click wonder right there. Not much editing needing to be done. It has a really pretty pink sky. 
looks great. When I hover over these presets, I look really dark still, so that's a super simple fix. Let's do Cafe Espresso, for example. I still look really dark. An easy fix is to raise the shadows just a little bit and raise your exposure. That looks pretty good. It's still pretty bright, so maybe I would lower my highlights just a little bit, turn, tone it down, and maybe lower my whites. Eh, I like them up anyway. And that looks great. Instagram crop, four and a, four point, four and a half. Four times five, I mean. There you go. And look at it, it's ready for Instagram. Looks so good. I love how the sky looks. It's such like a pretty vintage look. I love that. Typical New York picture. It's very cloudy and it's hard to edit because there's not a lot of color. There's no hardly any green. There is no blue, which makes up a lot of people's edits when they um, buy presets meant for the Mediterranean. But for example, let's use an Italy preset so you can see that my Italy presets do work on cloudy pictures. <laughs> All right, so from first glance, they all look pretty good. Ciao Vespa. So it's a little dark still in some areas, so I'm just gonna raise the shadows up just a tiny bit. And I think it's ready to go. It looks really great. The before and after looks really good. For the last picture, I'm gonna show you, this is a dusk picture. A lot of these presets aren't really made for this type of picture. Um, I think actually what I really used for my Instagram was Chow Vespa. So it looks very blue. What you have to do is raise the temperature up just a tiny bit to get some of that color back. And that looks really great. I would just do some basic cropping. Get that little kid out of there. And there you go. That's how I would edit that picture. If I click on iron layer, I like how that looks. I'm just gonna raise the exposure just a tiny bit and that's ready to go. So as you can see, my presets are pretty simple. See, so this is kind of an eyesore. This is an eyesore and that's an eyesore. So let's just zoom in and get rid of this square. So you're gonna go here and you're gonna make your brush size a little bit bigger. Go over this like that. And Lightroom is smart enough to um, give you recommendations on the color makeup. So look how much better that looks from the before and after. So much less busy. Not, it's not always that easy, but um, it's definitely doable. Let's get rid of this weird light. And Lightroom, will see how it kind of shadows there, but honestly for a zoom out, it looks really good to me before and after. That picture is ready to go for Instagram. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys learned something about editing pictures in Lightroom. If you've never used Lightroom before, this was the paid version. So it's $10 a month through Adobe. And this program can make your pictures look amazing. It's the most professional program you can use to edit photos. And if you are serious about getting into photography, I highly recommend checking out Adobe Lightroom. And if you have any questions at all regarding Lightroom or how I edit my pictures, please leave a comment below. As always, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you come back and watch another one of my videos. And I hope you have a great one.